but Overwatch shouldn't be dying what went wrong. I think we already hit the floor. Somewhere around season four, Life Weaver was boring. Communication fell off the planet. It felt like we were back in Overwatch 1. Then the announcement came that PvE was canceled. That was the floor. Since then, there's been little Ws that have come up. But the sequel has received nothing but criticism. It suffered from poor balancing and power creep. Some characters like Brigitte released in uh -oh. such a broken state. And if you played alone, you better get comfortable playing a healer or tank because most people would just insta-lock their favorite character. The developers then introduced role queue, eliminating the conflict of role cohesion. Overwatch 1 had its issues, but players stuck through it because they just loved the game. Only one new hero in 2020. There it is. And for two and a half years, players received practically nothing. There were no new maps and yep. no new heroes. Or so but the streamer, we had loot boxes and we got things for free. Never send me back to that time period. I'll do anything.